Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the mid-month love readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for the sun, moon, and rising of Scorpios. If you guys are interested in private consultations, definitely look at the description box below. You'll be able to find my contact information on there. Uh, so let's get into your reading Scorpios. I'm going to be pulling out cards for you, and I will also be pulling out cards for the person that you're dealing with or the person that you are connected with. Um, for those of you guys that are in a serious monogamous relationship, this is a representation of the cards of your partner. And I will be pulling out the center issue as well. So let's get into your reading, Scorpio. So let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the mid-month of September 2017. Alrighty, your first card is the Magician card, Scorpios. You have the Three of Cups, you have the Ten of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles. Wow. Okay, for your partner's cards, they have the Nine of Pentacles, the Three of uh, Wands, the Six of Wands, I mean, sorry, the Six of Cups, and the, oh wow, two sixes, and the Six of Swords. Let me pull out the Central Issues. We're going to give me the Central Issue card. For the month of September 2017th regarding Scorpio's love life. Central issue. Central issue. Central issue. All right. Central issue. The page of cups. Wow. Beautiful reading, Scorpios. Okay. The central issue is the page of cups. So there's definitely love reciprocated or understanding mutual understanding and mutual respect for one another uh, for those of you guys that are in a serious committed relationship the magician card is definitely a symbolization of having all the tools on the table being able to manifest or trying to whatever goals uh, that you have uh, now is the time to put forth the energy and the effort towards that because highly you will be manifesting that now you do have the three of cups here and the three of cups definitely talks about uh, feeling prosperous, feeling joyful, a cause for celebration. Um, so there's also a completion here with this magician card. Uh, for some of you guys, it has to do with the completion of family. For some, it has to do with a celebration. It could be um, a celebration, a homecoming, um, healing, anything like that, because the magician card is definitely a very energetically charged card. And with the three of cups, there's a celebration a rejuvenation or healing again, like I said, um, and again, a celebration also of the manifestation or prayers that you've been putting out to the universe. Uh, universe is definitely reciprocating and bringing that, uh, to you in the manifestation form. Okay. Now you do have the 10 of pentacles here. So there's a very strong, uh, pull towards family and building your own home or putting effort into uh, growth and advancement so you can then purchase your first home. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be a representation of buying new property. Um, and with this page, uh, sorry, with this Knight of Pentacles, it may take a little bit longer than what you expected, but understand and know that there is nothing that if you do it in a very quick, hasty way, uh, more than likely, uh, things are not going to come out the way you expect it. Okay. So try the best you can to use the energies of the universe and moving forward, but don't try to, uh, do anything very quickly or drastically because again, it could backfire. So try the best you can. If universe is taking its time to bring that to you, be very patient and consistent with it because ultimately it's going to be to the best of your interest. Okay. Now, when it comes to your relationship, obviously the magician card is definitely talking about, uh, having uh, the communication and the understanding for one another. The Three of Cups is definitely a loving, joyous type of celebration type of energy. So for some of you guys, by the middle of the month, uh, sorry, by the end of the month, going into the beginning of October, there's going to be cause for celebration in the household or in the home. Um, the the Knight of uh, Pentacles, a lot of um, abundance coming in and stability, perhaps stability that you guys hadn't been expecting for quite a while. That's definitely manifesting again. Like I said, it's taken a while, but it's definitely going to be given to you. Okay. Now 
the cards that symbolize your partner at the present time is the nine of cups the nine of cups is a wish fulfillment card it can also represent um, being very uh, open about what you guys want from the relationship and being very understanding and nurturing to one another the three of wands here uh, you guys are looking towards the future or planning and stepping uh, you know taking little steps uh, going through stepping stones that are gonna get you in the long run to something more stable more concrete the Six of Cups here is definitely feeling, um, again, like I said, feeling like uh, there's an innocence to this relationship. So it could be uh, the, rejuv the rejuvenation of the re relationship. Um, it can also be that you guys, by the beginning of October, start feeling almost like those type of butterflies, like it was at one point in the beginning of the relationship. Um, and looking back to how far you guys have came along or how drastically things have changed, um, the six could also be a representation of the middle of the, of the year. So again, um, with that said, if you guys look back towards, you know, six months ago, Within those six months, there's been a lot of need for growth and advancement when it comes to the relationship and the partnership. Um, it was more of a break or make type of deal. And you guys are being able to move forward into calmer waters, more uh, serenity, more understanding again, like I said, and more than anything, being able to move forward in a positive way. Now, for those of you guys that are single at the current time, uh, <clears throat> the current energy is the page of cups here so there's definitely um, a validation uh, it could be you getting an offer when it comes to love or it could be that you reach out to someone um, giving them or being completely honest with them and um, giving them a, a love offer basically asking for a new opportunity or an opportunity if you're dealing with the person from the past again the magician is definitely talking about um, the magician speaks very highly about confidence as well and there's there may be some issues with you guys for those of you guys that are single um, when it comes to love and romance you feel like people judge you or you feel that you lack something there's something that that you feel uh, that you don't have or you don't possess and the three of cups here is basically here to tell you that you there has to be an openness there has to be a vulnerability you have to be okay with vulnerability not necessarily like be extremely vulnerable to someone you just met but give yourself the opportunity don't be very quick to judge on how they're going to judge you because you you don't know that and if you're not able to be open um, to those possibilities then it's going to be very difficult for you to actually find someone that you can actually settle with for some of you Scorpios you may be dealing with an earth sign so it could be a Capricorn a Virgo um, or a Taurus that's constantly on your mind and this is a person that you actually did see yourself so I am sensing that this is a person from the past so this could be a person that you felt like this is genuinely a person that I could I could build with or this is a person that um, we had a lot of things in common commonalities a person that you can actually build a long-term type of relationship but again the knight of cups he, uh, sorry the knight of pentacles here is definitely talking about um, you know it, it's been slow and steady meaning um, for some of you guys um, maybe there is a loss of contact maybe you are not dealing with this person at the at the current time but again the page of cups here is definitely talking about uh, a new opportunity coming um, or you taking on that opportunity and moving forward with it okay now how this person sees uh, themselves or you um, in the very near future uh, the nine of cups definitely talks about they are experiencing a lot of abundance so it could be abundance and they're having success in their career uh, they have a lot of things going on at the present time and the three of wands could be a representation of them looking to you not looking to you precisely but sometimes you know when you randomly think of a person that type of scenario where they kind of wonder what could have been or what could have happened um, again around the same time that's when you actually decide to make a move or to reach out now the six of cups here is definitely talking about being nostalgic or reminiscing on the connection you guys once had unfortunately whatever that would have happened or whatever happened in this type of energy um, because there's a three of cups here so for some of you guys maybe you guys were dealing with this earth sign while you were whilst you were dealing with a water sign as well someone of your sign a Scorpio a Pisces or a Cancer 
um, and you decided to put forth more effort into the water sign that perhaps didn't work out and now they kind of are continuously being in, in your mind um, and with the six of swords it's like they've moved on they moved on from that even though sometimes sporadically uh, they'll stop and think of what could have been or whatever happened to you or whatever happened to them type of energy so ultimately what I do see here is because you do have two sixes here and sixes are always progression uh, there has to be a shift here or a change again like I said for those of you guys that are single that have been dealing with a lot of um, I wouldn't say inconsistencies but a lot of confidence type of issues um, you can continuously keep going about life uh, having these type of blockages and not facing them and missing out on stability and you're going to be finding yourself uh, in random encounters uh, people that are only interested in spending part time with you if you know what I mean uh, this could be very flighty type of energy it could be a uh, one night stands as well so again uh, you could spend your life you know giving your efforts and putting your efforts towards those type of energies or you have the option to face whatever fears you have when it comes to relationships and whenever when it comes to commitments and decide to move forward and whatever it is that you decide to do ultimately uh, the sixes uh, with the two sixes here there's going to be progression so there's going to be progression in the sense of if you're able to face those whatever dilemmas you may have or self-confidence issues that you lack uh, and you're not really capable or not wanting I should say you're not wanting to face them um, ultimately you're going to find yourself going around and around the same situation the same scenario which is attaching yourself or becoming emotionally invested in people that really are not interested in you or that are interested only in spending uh, you know very short-lived type of uh, relationships with you okay so with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment my videos. If you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe to my channel. And we will see each other in the beginning of the month of October. Okay? Bye.